So here we have the new audio system from DJI. It might not be new, but due to some production issues and COVID-19, it might have been hard to get your hands on one of these, especially living here in Europe. So the DJI mic system was first announced back in 2021 and has been the go-to microphone system for many creators ever since. So what is it, how does it work, and is it any good? So in today's video, I wanted to talk to you about the DJI microphone system and give you my honest opinion and review, and if I think it's worth getting your hands on. So this is a microphone system that has two wireless microphones and one receiver. It's very similar to the Rode wireless system in both functions and size. And the Rode wireless microphone has always been my go-to microphone up until a few months back. The DJI mic not only comes with the transmitter and receiver, it also comes with a charging case, which means you never have to bring back batteries or power banks to charge the transmitters or the receiver. Now, due to the small size of this wireless system, there's no replaceable batteries, so you have to keep them charged. In terms of battery, you get about five hours of use on the receiver and 5.5 hours of use on the transmitters. In most situations, this is more than enough for what you set out to film. And if you need a little bit more than that, you can place them back in the case between takes and it will keep them charged. Now, you also get two wireless transmitters with this kit. So not only one microphone, but two, which allows you to mic up two people at once. You don't always need two microphones, but having a backup is really good if you're working as a solo creator and you need more than that 5.5 hours, you can just switch out the transmitters and keep going for another five hours. So you can mic up two people for, let's say you're shooting an interview or use it individual as a solo creator. The system is super easy to use and you'll have full control over your audio. Now, one of the benefits with the DJI mic system is that it has the internal recording, the 14 hours of internal recording. That means you don't have to plug your microphone system into any devices to record audio. And this was the case before when I was using the Rode Wireless Go. I had to connect that into a camera to record my audio, but now, I don't have to do that and that means I can, if my video is drone related, I can record everything on the drone itself like I'm doing right now and I record the audio separately to the DJI mic system or the transmitter which is mounted on my jacket. So this is something which is really beneficial for solo creators and makes things a little bit easier. So you don't really have to connect it to any device to capture the audio. You can just press record on the transmitter itself and you will have crystal clear audio. You might hear the waves coming in here, you might hear the drone, but the audio is still crystal clear and it's easy to work with. And you can also find plugins which removes most of that unwanted sound which you might have in your video. Now, this is a huge benefit for me as a creator and this is something that I wanted to have for a very long time because it makes things a lot easier. Now, like I said, if my video is drone related, that means I can now record everything on the drone and the audio on the DJI mic system. So I don't have to bring a lot of gear to get the video done. On the receiver, you have a display that makes it super easy to see all your settings and controls. The menu is extremely user-friendly and it's easy to navigate and set your gain levels. This system has a rated range of 250 meters and with the built-in 14 hours of internal recording, which also works as a backup recording if there should be any issues between your receiver and the camera, so you will always be able to get good audio. Now, using a wireless system, you're also more free in terms of where you stand in front of the camera. Using a shotgun microphone, you always have to stay close enough to the camera to get clear audio. So with the DJI mic, you have more flexibility to go anywhere and capture clean audio without thinking about where you stand. And it opens up for different ways of framing yourself, which can help make your videos more interesting to watch. So a quick look in the box here. The DJI mic comes with a charging case, a receiver, and two transmitters. And then we have the accessory pouch, which comes with two windscreens and some cables. And this is basically everything that you need to get started and to get going. So this charging case is pretty simple. It has a lid which goes up and down, a USB-C input on the back for charging the wireless system and the charging case, and four LED lights 
on the front, which indicates the power left on the case. So each light is about 25% power. What I really like about this system is that once you open the case, the audio system automatically turns on. So you don't have to press hold any buttons to get started. You can just grab one of the transmitters if you want to record some internal audio and just click the record button. So inside the case, there's two transmitters, one on the left and one on the right. In the middle, you have the receiver and on top you have your microphone attachment for a lightning port, as well as a USB-C attachment, which works with something like the DJI Action 3. So after opening the case, it takes a few seconds before the lights and the screen comes on. Here you should have the light on the transmitters and on the screen, you'll see the battery level of each transmitter and the receiver. And it also shows you how many hours of internal recording you have left. So it's a quick, easy and solid system to see how much battery you have left and how long you can record for. Now let's take a look at the transmitters. You get two transmitters and they are both identical. So the only way to tell them apart is to look at the audio levels of the receiver. For a solo creator, it might not be a big deal, but if you're constantly doing interviews or any similar recordings like that, where both mics are used simultaneously, you might want to label the transmitters with something like the number one and two. On the top of the transmitter, you'll see the microphone itself and a 3.5 millimeter jack to connect a lavalier microphone. But since this is a microphone itself, you don't really need to use additional microphones with it. But if you want a more subtle approach, you can also plug that lavalier microphone into the transmitter. On the side, you'll see a USB-C port, and this is where you charge the transmitter if you're not charging it through the charging case. And this is also where you connect it to your computer to download the internal recordings. There's also a power button, and this has two functions. It works as a power button to power on and off your transmitter by press holding it, and it also works as a mute button by pressing it once. On the other side, we also have two buttons, one with a microphone icon and one with a linking icon. The microphone button is what you use if you need to record internally without connecting the receiver and microphone to a camera. Now for the linking button, these transmitters come pre-linked as you get the DJI mic system, but if you damage one or need to get a new one, you will use this to relink and pair the transmitter with the receiver. On the bottom, we have the charging plate, and this is where it's charging from the charging case. And on the back, you have the clip and a magnet, which allows you to clip this on your shirt or belt or anything like that. You also have this little magnet here, which is really useful because you can just put this inside your shirt and then clip on your microphone on the outside, just like this. Uh, this gives you more flexibility when it comes to placement and could result in better audio. You can also hide the microphone by putting the magnet here on the outside and then the microphone on the inside. But then you're again left with the magnet on the outside and if you're gonna go for a professional look, I think this is the way to go. On the transmitter itself, we have two lights, one that is green and one that turns red. The green light tells you that you're powered on and when you click the record button on the transmitter, you'll see the red light come on. So you'll have an indication of whether your transmitter is powered on or not and if your recording is activated or deactivated. The next thing that follows is the receiver. Looking at the screen of the receiver, we get all the information we need. So at the top of the screen, we have some icons on the left and right. And the icon on the left tells you if you're recording in stereo or mono. And on the right side, you'll see the connected transmitters with signal bars, as well as the battery of the receiver. From the mid to the bottom section, we have the gain and battery levels of the transmitters, as well as the audio levels. On the side of the receiver, you'll find two ports, one for headphones and one that says out. So the out port is what you will be connecting to your camera and the headphone port is where you'll be monitoring your audio. On the other side of the receiver, you'll have the power button and a USB-C port. The USB-C port is used to charge your receiver if you're not using the charging case. So you don't need to bring the charging case at all. You can also just grab the transmitter and the receiver and charge those using the USB-C cable. Now on the back, you'll see the charging pad, which is similar to the one on the transmitters. And you also see these eight pins in the middle. 
This is where you connect the different attachments, which allows you to plug the receiver into something like the Action 3 or your phone. So the attachment that follows is a USB-C adapter and a lightning adapter, as well as a cold shoe attachment. And if you'll be using the receiver mostly with your phone or an action camera, what's awesome is that you don't need to remove the attachment each time you're done recording. The case is actually designed to fit the receiver with any of the following attachments, which is really useful if you want a quick and easy way to connect your receiver to your device. And the same goes for the cold shoe attachment. You can also leave this on your receiver when you put it back into the case to charge or when you're done shooting for the day. The cold shoe attachment also allows you to face the receiver in both directions. So if you're in front of the camera, you can have it facing you so you can easily monitor the levels or if you're behind the camera, you can just take it off and then place it the other way. So depending on what type of videos you're shooting, you'll have the ability to always monitor your audio and see the screen which gives you all the information needed like gain and battery levels of the transmitters. And it's the same way for the other attachments as well. So let's say you're using this with your Action 3 or your phone. The receiver can be placed in both ways so we can always monitor your audio. Now let's take a look at the accessories that follow. So the accessories basically comes in this small pouch. It's not much, but it's basically everything you need. So you'll get two windscreens and a cable to connect the receiver to your camera. The windscreens will cut out any wind sound that you may experience when you're shooting outdoors. A lot of times there will be wind and having wind in your audio is one of the worst things to experience, especially for the viewer watching your video. And you also get two of these, one for each transmitter. So as a solo creator, you have a set of backup in case you should lose one of the windscreens. They are also very easy to put on and secured in place by twisting to the right. So no matter movement you do, or if you jump around, the windscreen will stay on. The DJI mic system is a super small and convenient system for anyone that needs to travel light or for those that want the versatility by having an easy way of connecting your different devices. Because of the small size and how easy these are to use, I'm sure there's a lot of unique ways of capturing clear audio. I'm actually a bit surprised over the quality and the way it works and how easy and fast you get going with this system. So let me know in the comments below, how do you use your DJI mic? And if you don't have it already, will you be getting it in the future? Now, if you haven't subscribed already, make sure to do that. That would be highly appreciated. And also turn on notifications. And if you found any value in today's video, consider dropping a like for the algorithm. Also, don't forget the Black Friday sales, which is on robhkvlogs.com. You can get my signature LUTs at a cheaper price. And also there's a massive Black Friday combo with my masterclass, every single preset for LumaFusion and also included my signature LUTs for an extreme discount. So make sure to check that out in the description below. I also recommend that you check out this video right here. This is also where I test the DJI mic system with the Action 3 and how it sounds compared to the built-in microphones. So make sure to check out that video. And with that said, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.